Dear teachers, welcome to lesson three on the learning theory. My name is Mwalimu Musa Shabani Ali. I'm a teacher educator and a district secondary education officer from Findi District Council in Iringa. This lesson is all about constructivism learning theory. In cognitivism, that made the revolving and the rise of the theory, we saw how it happened and it is practical implication in a classroom that teachers prepare uh, the teaching and learning materials, teachers prepare the lesson plan by regarding all the levels of Bloom taxonomy as a part of the theory advocated by the cognitivism theory. In the constructivism theory that, that emerged in 1980s, it asserted largely on inquiry-based and discovery learning, which means the student learn the new things through experiences, building the knowledge through experience and interactions. The students are encouraged to discover and do something. Within this theory advocated by Vygotsky, the constructivism learning theory, there are a number of things that teachers can consider in their teaching and learning process. The teaching for meaningful learning. When you go in a classroom and make the learners to learn for their social life and their future, you'll be using the constructivism learning theory. If you look all these three theories that I have mentioned earlier, you look at the behaviorism, you look at the cognitivism, and lastly, you look at the constructivism, you will come to understand that cognitivism is all about building prior knowledge, while constructivism is all about building the new ideas and concept based on discoveries. The concept of constructivism, that means you learn by construction. You make ideas to create something that can be useful in real life situation for the students and the general social life. So there are concepts that are being associated with constructivism. These concepts are as follows. We have cognitivism apprenticeship. We have cognitive flexibility. We have straighted learning. We have zone of proxy development. We have also the concept of scaffolding. We shall come and see all of these concepts as we move along. But to give you just a nutshell, as we shall see them later in detail, as we are talking about the cognitive apprenticeship is allowing someone to grow by connecting with person who is the expert in a particular field. So you make the brain to grow up. This is cognitive apprenticeship. Cognitive flexibility is making one to be not rigid, to be not structured, to be flexible by acquiring new knowledge. Straighted, straighted learning, this is asserted that learning is depending on the situation. As you move from different situations, you create different perceptions and perspectives. And the concept of zone of proximal development, this is the zone that a learner who is able to learn can be helped by a person who is expert rather than he is. And the concept of scaffolding, this is largely an aid or support that a learner might get so that to achieve the learning goals that is expected. It's just a learning support. So with these few concepts that we shall see later, then let's end here for this lesson and we shall see in the next lesson. Thank you.